The walls of both the anterior side of the right and the left ventricle have been removed. We can see that there is a wall that separates the two. This is referred to as the interventricular septum. It has a muscular component, which is right over here, and a thinner membranous component, which is right over here. On the interior wall of the ventricles are the irregular ridges of muscle, and you don't see them very well in this cut open view of the heart, but if you take a look at the piece that we've just removed on the inside of that, we'll see what we're talking about a little bit better. Here we are looking on the interior wall that we removed, and if you look on that, the inner lining, you can see that these thick muscular ridges, which interweave with one another, these ridges are referred to as the trabeculi carnii, which translates from Latin to English as fleshy beams. Here we are looking at the opened view of the right and the left ventricle again. So here again is the right ventricle. And if you look right over here, one of these ridges crosses over from the interventricular septum to the wall of the right ventricle. And this is referred to as the moderator band. And you can see there are fibers that are drawn on this band. These fibers represent a part of the conduction system of the heart.